Motion Quilting and I wanted to show you some new things that are in our shop. So I've got an online website called BoldMotionQuilting.com and on that website we have online free motion quilting classes. There's a variety of different classes on there that you can take whether you're more modern, if you like more organic, um, and we carry all of the different panels and threads and things that you would need to take all of those classes. So with that said, we do have a Dream Big class. And I've done a couple of these videos showing you all different kinds of threads and fabrics that match, but there are five new colorways that just came in, and I wanted to show you all of the glide colors that match um, these new Dream Big panels, as well as some very beautiful um, grunge colors that we got in just to match these specific panels. They're so pretty. I love the way they put all the colors together. I look at all the colors that match together, and I think, oh, I can make a pretty quilt out of that. Um, so there's a lot of fun things that can be done. So this first colorway is called Blossom. It's got the really dark blue on the inside, and then it goes into these green and pink hues. It almost looks like a negative, like the opposite of what the color of the actual flower should be. And you can do a lot um, with the different fabrics and thread that you choose. So for these color kits, I tried to get you colors that kind of match the whole of what you're working with. So this is Persian for the middle. And it's dark enough to blend with the middle, but light enough also to work in these outer petals. So you can kind of do it all as one piece. And then you've got pistachio and then periwinkle for the outside. And if you notice, these panels aren't exactly symmetrical. So like this corner doesn't have a whole lot of pink, but that corner has a lot more pink than the other one. And it kind of just varies based on how they all are. And you'll notice that the corners on one side are often darker than the corners on the other side. So you got to find colors that really match well and blend. Grunge colors that match, you can take one of a couple different ways. So you can take this really pretty blush color, right? And you could take kind of the intense colors of the pink and you can match that um, with the panel and make it kind of brighter because it goes from a really intense to very pastel to the outside. And you could keep the look of the pastel on the outside by matching with more pastel colors. So this is this minty color here as it transitions from the green into the brown. And this is called Winter Mint. And then another kind of lighter pastel color. This one is called Crystal Sea. And it really matches with the intensity of the panel and it really picks up on these like lighter blue colors. And if you notice, I've got all these fabrics in front of the table, I can't quite get up here. If you notice, grunge has um, a lot of brush strokes in it. If you're not used to grunge, it's a fabric made by Moda. Um, they sell a ton of different colorways. And what it is, is it's one base color underneath. And then it looks like it has brush strokes of anywhere from two to five other colors on it. And so this one has some um, darker blues, darker grays, and lighter blues. So although it matches with this main intensity here, it also picks up on some of the other colors that are lighter and some of the darker colors that are in between. So it actually does a really good job of kind of mixing and matching with the panel. And then you can kind of go for a more intense, rich color and pick up on these darker hues and go with Cabana. And I'm showing you this at the edge because not many people cut and piece these. They often are doing um, panels and borders. And there's a lot of different options for borders that you can do. Then you've got this Peacoat color that really matches these really deep, dark inner portions of the, of the panel. And it also has brush strokes of like a warm purple color, which plays into these warm pinks over here. And it's like a purplish pink, but I think it's more purple than it is pink. And then this one matches beautifully. It's called Jade Cream, and that kind of picks up on the warm green-yellow colors on this outer band. And then it's got some kind of, well, I guess cream-colored brush strokes, and then some like light blue-colored brush strokes. So not only does it match this green color here, it matches the cream that's blending from this green to the pink, and then also some of the lighter blue colors in here as well. And then if you wanna get real funky and real bright, now if you notice, some parts of the panel are brighter than others. So like these corners 
um, on what I would call the bottom of the panel, right? Those are darker than the ones up top. So there are these parts of these color flecks um, that are just really bright and green. And so this matches very well, those color flecks. And then it's got some really bright blue brush strokes in it as well to pick up on the bright blues and then some lighter greens which pick up on some of the lighter green portions of the panel as well. And that is called, oh that one is Jade Cream. So if we double back, this lighter one is called Aqua. Don't buy Jade Cream if you like Aqua. Get Aqua. <laughs> so that was Blossom. That was all of the um, thread and fabric coordinates for Blossom. And if we peel that back, we can see the next color. And I don't want to tell you the wrong color. This one is called Sunset. Um, probably for good reason. It's like bright in the middle and then it gets real dark and dusky on the outside. So Sunset, let's talk about colors. And again, you'll notice the color packs are a little smaller than they were before because it's not every single color in the panel. Instead, it's colors that work well for the quilting. So in the middle, we've got this really pretty pumpkin color. And I chose pumpkin because it matches some of the brighter portions of the inside of the panel so that you could continue to make that center glow. I didn't want to make it dark like these darker accents to really bring down and deepen the dark middle. Um, so instead, what this is going to do is as you're doing your designs, it'll help to keep that center bright because it's only going to be a thread width, you know, going over some of those portions of the panel. So it'll accentuate it. And then you've got, it's a lighter yellow, it's called cornflower, which will be really great for when you're getting into these secondary portions of the petals. It looks really yellow in the camera, but if you, and what I did was I opened up a thread of it and it blends really nicely with the panel. Um, so depending on how much you quilt with it, how dense those designs are gonna be, that's really gonna match very, it's gonna blend very well and just disappear. Okay. Then we've got this pretty green color called celery and so cel like this is a much yellower green in here but this celery really m blends with this inner portion as well as the outer portion because it's a little bit more pastel and lighter so it actually works really well with these outside petals and then when you get into the outer portion of the panel we've got royal blue which again matches perfectly with these bigger petals in here and it might be a little bit too bright for the outside, but instead of giving you a, another color for the dark, this will actually work really well as you're doing your designs on the outside because it coordinates and blends with the panel. It won't disappear in the corners, but again, not every corner is that dark. That's the only corner that, that, that is that dark. See how the rest of them are a lot lighter? So it's gonna work really well all around your panel. You'll just see it more a little bit over here in this one corner. So let's talk about grunge colors that match. If you want to kind of play with the same intensity and add like a yellow to it that isn't going to take away from the panel, we've got chiffon. And you can see that it matches the intensity of the yellows and the oranges in here and it complements it, but it doesn't distract from it. But if you want to keep it super bright and add to those contrasts, there are very bright pops of color right here in the middle that match really nicely with the sunflower. And that will kind of detract from the panel, but if you like bright colors, that's the way you want to go. In the middle, we've got this really dark kind of burnt orange color. And so that is the color of this, um, what I think it's called cinnabar. So it's a really dark orange, but it's got brush strokes of pink in it. So if you don't want to play into other colors that might work with the panel and introduce maybe some complementary colors that would go with it, um, this might not be your jam, but this orange color matches really nicely with the orange in the center of the flower. And then of course we've got blue. So this, this is literally called grunge blue. Um, and this blue color matches really nice with these offset, offset shades that kind of go from one color blending into the next, which I, I think is really nice. Those are the colors I kind of like to pick up on and use when I'm making my borders. And it's got some grayish brush strokes and some darker blue brush strokes. I don't know how well you can see those colors in the camera, um, but it actually works pretty well to accent a bunch of different 
parts of the of the panel as well as it being more of kind of a, a warm green blue it works really nicely with these petals and that's called grunge blue now all these colors that I'm showing you are colors that I sell on the website um, under the fabric section uh, in on boldnotionquilting.com under the products there'll be a link above in the video showing you um, where you can go on the website for just the panels and the kits or if you want to get the coordinating fabrics or sign up for the class. So a color that really matches the intensity of these medium dark blues, so not quite this dark but like right in here, the medium dark, is the Bright Sky, which I, I just really love this color in general. I'd love to make a quilt with this. Um, but it does have brush strokes of purple in it, which don't bother me in any way because I like the purple and it kind of plays into the darker colors that are in the panel as well um, but this color does match perfectly with that medium color of blue if you wanted to match a green with it I couldn't tell if I really liked or really hated this color of green but the more I'm seeing different shades of green the more I'm really liking them I think we all have colors that we just can't quilt with <laughs> And green was one of those for me, but I'm starting to, to really love them. So this one is called Pear, and this pear color really plays on the medium aspects, again, because I like to pick up on the medium aspects, going from the yellow to the, it's got like this really bright green, which might even be, where did that bright green one go? Nope. I've got one that's a little more yellow green. Oh, it might be this one. That's probably too bright, but this is such a bright color green underneath here that it really plays into some of these brighter colors of this as well. This is called Lime Punch. But I selected Pear to go with more of those medium colors, again, because if you're using medium colorways that aren't like too bright, let's say you have an accent color and two that are the same intensity, it's going to add to the overall panel instead of take away from it and you're going to really see the look of the panel first before you see the borders. So that'll really help you with that. And then last but not least, if you really want to accentuate that darker color in the corner, we've got the Grunge New Navy and it really is called New Navy. It's a much bluer blue than the traditional navy color that we have. So again, this one is Sunset, and those were all the colors of fabric and thread to accentuate Sunset. Next up, we have Fuchsia. So I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but there's a lot of red in this panel. Um, there is a lot of, it really looks very orangish red in the middle from the center, the gold, then you've got this red ring, and then it goes into these bright pinks, and again, the panel isn't like 100% symmetrical, but you can really see this red ring all the way around here where it gets a lot darker. So thread colors that match would be West Point for the middle. So you could do some fill in there. And if you want to keep the yellow and the orange color separate, I recommend using the autumn color for this tiny inner part of the petals. Um, this way you're not over brightening the center because it goes from a very small burst of bright color to a more kind of offset deep rich color set. Then we've got fuchsia. Pokies is going to be for these really deep dark purples and then you've got ruby for these petals along the most outer edge. They've got a lot of that really dark brush stroke like a purplish red color. Okay, and that way your options when you're quilting are limitless. If you wanted to go in and fill this in, instead of taking away from the panel by having too much of a thread that doesn't quite match, you can use threads that do match, and then you can fill that in really dense um, and have those designs really pop up off your quilt top. So that's West Point, Autumn, Ruby, Fuchsia, and Hokies. And all of these threads that I'm telling you actually come in kits. I really should have specified that. All of the panels are sold as panels or with a panel and thread kit. Um, or you can also get just a thread kit if you've already got the panel. Um, or in a lot of cases, there are borders for a lot of them and we come out with new border kits every week. So Fuchsia, I had a hard time 
matching exact colors to this, but you can use some that will like blend well. So the intensity of this blush color and the middle bright color of these petals really offset each other nicely. This would make a really great accent piece. And you can see with the grunge, it's got brush strokes of a lighter pink and a peachy orange. And so that orange is really gonna play into the orange in here if you use this as an accent. So a thin one inch, two inch border, nothing that's gonna to be too, too overextending. I really loved, this color is called Bellini. So it's a warm color, which really plays into the panel, but it also has brush strokes of light pinks that are the same color as these petals here. And so that would be something that could make, again, a nice accent or a nice way to frame and draw the eye directly to the center of the, pet, of the panel. This one is called Grunge Bellini. And you, actually, you probably could have used Bellini on Blossom as well. So if I pull up Blossom, Bellini matches nicely with that. The pink strokes and then the really cream ring in here, which I've got pink underneath it, so it's not gonna show up as creamy as it actually is. But you can see how they would work nicely together. So I'm gonna show you some colors, again, that go with it, but don't match it exactly. Okay, so this green is called Leprechaun, and I really love the idea of putting green behind some of these flowers because flowers all have leaves and are you know in bushes and greenery and so I think that it really accentuates it. The intensity of this green matches the intensity of the panel and so they work nicely together. And then it also has um, an offset of some blue brush strokes in there which I think kind of complement the fuchsia panel color. Then we've got Horizon. This is like my favorite grunge color ever. I love this color. Again, this is another one that I'd love to make a quilt with. Um, it's got a lot of really dark blue brush strokes in it, as well as some lighter blue brush strokes. But again, the intensity of this really matches the intensity of the panel. And then with the brush strokes of the darker and lighter portions on the fabric really play into the whole theme of the um, dream big panels going from light in the center and dark to the outside. And then if you're someone who likes red and black quilts, I know this isn't quite red, but it looks really nice with the onyx fabric on it. Kind of see how that plays in. And actually, this isn't onyx, I take it back. This is called Little Black Dress. It's a darker, deeper black that isn't warm. Onyx is a warm black. This is a cooler black. And then, for the finale, we've got Cordovan. So Cordovan Grunge is a color that has some like lighter purple brush strokes, some light pink brush strokes, or some gray brush strokes in there, but you can see how nicely the colors of this fabric actually match and coordinate with the colors of the fuchsia panel. We're more than halfway done, and I'm gonna show you um, some different designs that you can do on your Dream Big quilts, as well as some different patterns for the borders that are available out there. So this is such a pretty colorway. Um, it's bright and cheery, I absolutely love it. This one is called, I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but I think it's called Horizon. I've got a master list of all of the coordinating fabrics and threads. And if you're in the Dream Big class, this is in your, um, this is in your class worksheets. So yes, this one is called Horizon. And so for Horizon, we've got a lot of different colorways that match really nicely with the panel. So we've got Tomato for the middle. It's a really red, deep orange that matches really nicely with the accents of the center here. And then you've got Corn Flower for these outer petals. And then you've got Amethyst for these medium petals. And then you've got Lilac for the petals just outside that. And then when you start getting into the blue colors, the outsides, all four corners of this panel have a lot of blue, especially in the outside corners of it. 
Not all panels are colored equally, so this one does have a lot of blue, and so we're using the royal color in that blue as well. Okay, and then you just pick and choose where your threads go based on how your designs are gonna, gonna happen on your panel. So some pretty colors that match. You've got that bright sunflower. Matches a little bit better with this panel than the last one. It even has some orange, like you can see very faint, dark orange brush strokes in it. And so that really plays into the orange brush strokes here in the center. Again, great as an accent, something maybe to even frame the panel. You've got new navy. It's a really rich blue that plays into the darkest parts of the blue in the panel. And it even has some purplish blue and some uh, purplish pink brush strokes on the actual fabric, which plays in really nicely to this purple and the pink in here. Then you've got tangerine. This is very bright. So what matches with the tangerine isn't exactly color for color. However, the darkest part on this fabric matches really nicely with the center point and then this tangerine matches really nicely with the bursts of color that come out of the other portions of the panel. And then it's got pink brush strokes in here also. And then the lighter peachy brush strokes, which play really nicely into the accents of these other petals. This is something that I would use if I were maybe piecing a bright, cheery something around it. And I wouldn't use a ton of the orange because I'm not a big fan of orange. Um, but this tangerine color really plays nicely with this panel. And then the Peace de Resistance. This one is Tori. So this is a, one of those new colors I was talking about. There's a lot of new colors that I've showed you today um, that have ended up on the site as a result of matching colors to the panels. But I really love this Tori color. There is a, so you'll notice not all grunge is created equal. Not all of them have this much coloring on them. Most of them are kind of like tonal and they're not as like bright and in your face. Um, but this one has all of the beautiful blue purple colors in here as well as pink hot pink like it's not quite hot pink it's somewhere between like a hot pink and an antique rose in here with the pink right and so that plays really nicely in that and then you can see that there's a little bit of greenish bluish brush strokes on there which are neither here nor there for this panel there's very very slight portions of the panel that have a little bit of a green blue color in some of the edges but it's not anything that's really gonna detract your eye away from it and, and cause a red flag if you use this kind of fabric. But I think this one in particular matches really nicely with this Horizon panel. Before I take it away, let's make sure. Let's see if Rose matches. I like to kind of double check. So Rose matches really nicely with this one as well, especially these colors going right around this center glow because it's a little bit of a, a deeper pink than you get kind of in this petal, but it all matches very nicely. And again, it's got kind of that orange peachy brush stroke and then the lighter pink, which matches with the outer portion. And then the orange peachy really matches with the transition of the outside of these petals. So it has more than one colorway to really tie in and blend all of the colors together. And then last but not least, we have Daisy. I think Daisy is one of my new favorites. This is one of those colors that I looked at and I was like, wow, I really, really love that one. Um, it's just really fun and it's bright and it's cheery and I love it for that. So for Daisy in the middle, we've got raspberry pink, which is super fun. I love that color. Then we've got peach somewhere in here in the middle. You've got tango which i love for um the outer portions of these petals so again if you're doing like denser quilting designs and you need to be able to fill in and shade you want to shade in areas that the thread really matches the color that you're working with in the petals so that you don't take away from the panel and someone's eye is drawn directly to that thread that doesn't quite match so this works really nicely for the outer part of these petals even right here in in this uh, row as well and then you've got the peachy I think it's called peach peach not peachy peach 
and then we've got split P for the outer. So again, if you look at this, it almost looks a little bit green compared to this yellow, but this yellow is a very, very green yellow. So if you take a strand of thread, depending on how densely you're quilting it, it's not gonna let me take it off, and hold it over that area, it blends perfectly, okay? And so now I wanna show you some grunge colors that match. And I'll show you some samples from the online class. So we've got Clementine, which is a, a, a nice bright orange that matches a lot of the, there's, it's hard to tell because you're not right up on the, on the panel, but I hope that you can see it in the video. But there are a lot of bright orange brush strokes in this panel. So this is a great uh, piece to really add a little bit of accent to it. And then you've got Flamingo, which is like this bright pink color that matches so nicely with this raspberry color happening, right? So there's that. And then if you want to go darker with it, you get a mustard. And this mustard matches, you know, mainly the middle outsides here where the orange and the yellow really combine. Or you could do something a little brighter. I'm not sure if sunflower is going to match or not. might be a little bit too bright for that. Let's see if chiffon matches. Chiffon could work. It doesn't match this bright yellow color, but you see that it matches the intensity of all of these other colors around it. So depending on how you're gonna cut up and use your panel, chiffon might be a nice color grunge for you to use as well. And then don't forget for a ton of different colorways of the panels, We've got a couple different 108 fabrics that really look nice. So this one looks really nice with, I wanna say it's honeysuckle, the bright yellow one. We've got greens and blues in the scroll, the 108, if you don't wanna to have to cut up your fabrics for your backing. And then this really pretty digital print that looks really nice as a backing on a multitude of the colors of panels. And it just looks like fresh flowers, and this is actually 104 inches wide. So depending on how big you're making your backing, uh, making your panel, your quilt top, um, this is something that could look really nice and work really nice so you don't have to cut and sew. And then we've got some colors of grunge. So if you have any panels that match the pool color, this is a really great one to use. Um, We've got pool, we've got peacoat, uh, we've got fog, which is a white with a gray. There's a lot of different colorways. And this one is really new to the shop. That would look really nice on the back of an onyx panel or just on the back of a modern quilt. I really like these. It's upside down. But it's like a cityscape. Can you see the buildings? I wish I could open it up all the way so you could really see. got like a skyline going on there. They're all skyscrapers. You can see it a little bit better from the top there. But this is really neat. I love having some different variations and digital prints for backing because they add a lot of interest. And I, for one, don't like to cut and piece a whole lot. So if there's anything that I can do that'll add interest without being a ton of extra work, I'm all over it. All right, now that I've boxed myself in here with all of these fabrics, this is the Aurora colorway. I did get in replenishments from a lot of the colors that I was out, so they are now on the website. Um, this is the one that I chose to quilt in the class. Let me see how well you can see these designs. I think you can see them a little bit better now. So the class goes over a multitude of things. We go through all the different variations that you can do. Um, for different petals, there's like nine different petal options that you can combine to your liking and that you could also um, mix and match. And I also give you a color map. So there's a printout of the, of the panel. There is an upside and a downside. And so you can actually do number four petals where they go, number seven petals where they go, number five petals where they go, according to where I put my uh, markings and my map out on my panel, but you can also mix and match to your liking as well. In the Dream Big class, I believe the cost is $30, so you get all the video instruction for um, 
threads and designs, you get the whole printout and all the different worksheets that come with it. But also we do some bonus borders. So you can see we just kind of did a simple, um, I want to say it's like a two inch and then a six inch. And then I show you how to quilt these designs, these motifs in the border as well. So can you see this pretty border here? All of the different texture and stuff that comes with that. A little bit of side light. So can you see all that pretty texture from the, oh, here you go. Now you can see all the pretty pic texture on the panel. So this, these are all the designs that you'll learn in the class. Um, and it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of ladies on our group. It's called Free Motion Quilt Along with Bold Notion Quilting. And so we all started it as a way to kind of dive into these panels and figure out how to quilt them because they're such beautiful panels, but they're digitally printed and honestly can be difficult to decipher what you actually want to quilt on them. And then we've got this leaf quilt along class for all these different leaf panels. And I've got all these panels and all these kits, but I wanted to show you this border pattern so let me see if I can pick this up just a little bit. So this is what we call our ribbon mountain border. I designed the border so that you could piece it pretty simply. And this ribbon is actually applique on. And so I have a bunch of different kits for this border panel in colorways that match a lot of the Dream Big panels themselves because the Dream Big panels are the same size as the leaf panels. And if you want the pattern for this, it's actually in the class catalog on boldnotionquilting.com and it's an online video. That's the only way I could get it to you as a digital download. But it's called Piecing Just the Borders and that's for this border panel. And then if you want, the pattern also comes in the kits and I've got a bunch of different kits on the website and we add anywhere from two to four color kits each week for the different panels. And then if you have any suggestions for um, colorways that you might like for panels that you have, just email me boldnotionquilting at gmail.com and I'll be happy to move one of those color panels to the top because I don't have any preference for which panel I do when, I'm just trying to knock out two to four colorways to kind of help y'all put together pretty kits. And so, if you're putting this kit on your panel, it's gonna take your 40 inch panel and turn it into a 76 inch quilt that you then can use or hang and look at because they're beautiful. There's a lot that you can do with it. And last but not least, we have some fun Halloween panels. So if you're getting into the Halloween jam, we actually did a free motion quilt along with this panel way. It's called uh, the On Trend Quilt Along. And you just practice doing five or six different blocks in here. And you we go through all the different patterns for how you're going to do this floor patch, this rail fence, and this block. And then you have a bonus video for how to stitch this. Now, if you wanted to, you could take the holiday class and just do spiders and webs and pumpkins and all kinds of fun stuff in this panel. And if you wanted to make it bigger or put a backer on it, we've got the lime punch grunge. We've got russet orange. You'll need three and a half yards for the backing at least, and it, that should cover getting it on your long arm and binding. We've got uh, the Bella Solids orange, the Bella Solids sprout, and my personal favorite, the Amelia Purple. And those are all colors that match really nicely with the different colorways in your panel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this was all insightful for all the different colorways of the panels. And you'll check out some of the new things that are on the shop. Lots of new grunge and glide colors. And I hope you'll check them out. I wasn't able to look at the comments while I'm doing the video, but I will go through now and answer any questions that you might have. Feel free to email me at boldnotionquilting at gmail.com and I'll take care of you. Take care and happy quilting.